good morning everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to a vlog so this is a bit of an unexpected vlog because i have some last minute plans and i thought this would be a super fun afternoon evening to film so i'm heading into london today and i'm going to a color wow event and the event is actually at Claridge's and then I'm staying at Claridge's as well. I'm going with Sophie. She very kindly invited me along with her to this event. So we are going to enjoy it together. It's going to be super fun. You guys may remember Sophie from my previous vlogs. We went to the gala together. So this is going to be the same kind of thing, but we're going to be in a much nicer hotel. We had a lovely time when we went to the gala, but Claridge's is a bit of a step up. So we're very excited. I'm just finishing some packing getting everything sorted i ordered a beautiful suit from mesh key to wear tonight it's a black tie dinner so i wanted something fancy i wanted something a bit different i've had two black tie events recently and i've worn lovely dresses so i thought i would go for like a cream suit anyway the pass is due to arrive tomorrow so that's a bit annoying i thought i'd ordered it within plenty of time i ordered it on monday and it's now thursday but yeah it hasn't arrived so that is slightly annoying i also ordered a dress from house of cb as like a last minute backup that came yesterday and i did not like it it was not flattering on the quality just was not good it didn't fit me well at all so that was a no-no i have dug around and shopped my own wardrobe and i found this cream blazer and trousers they're not a perfect match as you can see here but they are pretty good so i may wear this set i'm going to try it on now with my new cream heels that arrived yesterday from Zara and see if that works. If not, I also have this black mini dress from Mossman. It's kind of like the Sports Max one with these little like flap pockets, long sleeved, little high neck as well, which I think would look super cute with my Dior heels. So it's either gonna be a black or cream situation. I also have a, a skirt arriving today. It's a beautiful like cream pleated skirt. So I thought that might look quite nice with the cream blazer. I don't know if it's really black tie enough, but we're scrambling here. This is all I've got to work with. That Arquette parcel is due to arrive between 12 and one today. It's now 11 and I have to leave for my train at one o'clock. So fingers crossed that it does come and I can quickly try that on and see if that's gonna work. But yeah, I would have thought that I'd already have something in my wardrobe that I can pull together. I mean, I have got these two options, but there was nothing that I was like, oh yeah, I've, I've saved that and I can wear that. Normally I'm quite good. And if I see like a nice dress or a nice outfit that I think would be good for a special occasion, I normally keep it so that I have got a backup in my wardrobe, but I just, for some reason, didn't really have anything this time, but it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna try those two options now and uh, we'll see what we think. So this is the cream suit on. I quite like it. I mean, it's not a bad option. It's nice and simple. The blazers from Zara, obviously I'll take my Primark bra off. I won't wear that. And the trousers are from Theory. And then these little heels are Zara as well. It's just a plain, simple, classic outfit. It's not exactly what I wanted. The cream suit that I'd ordered from Meshki had like a bit more detail. It was a bit more kind of oversized. Blazer was a bit more cinched but this is not a bad option. I just don't know if it's really black tie enough and black tie as well normally means long dresses, doesn't it? And the other dress I've got is a mini. So I'm not sure. I'm not 100% convinced by this, but it's not a bad kind of backup option, is it really? Also, it's really comfortable as well. Like I feel really comfortable and I feel like I'm not gonna worry about my outfit at all in this and it is, Fairly classy, I suppose. We are going to Claridge's. I've been to Claridge's once before for breakfast, which was gorgeous, but this is obviously an evening dinner. We're getting our hair done as well for the event. So I've washed mine and fre freshly blow dried it this morning, ready for our dry styling appointment before the dinner, which will be a super fun. And also I think Chris Appleton is gonna be at the dinner as well. And for those of you that don't know, he is uh, Kim Kardashian's hairstylist. So if you watch the Kardashians, then you may well recognize him. He has bought out this amazing hair mask with Color Wow. Let me grab it for you. So this is the hair mask. It's the money mask. I actually used it this morning on my hair and I love it because the consistency is so gel-like. It's just super smoothing. I mean, you can see how soft, smooth, glossy my hair is. I haven't done anything else with it. Literally just blow dried it and used the kind of 
straightening brush on the Dyson Airwrap and it just looks gorgeous. So I'm so impressed with that mask. It's a new firm favourite, but back to the outfits. Not my favourite look I've ever worn, but it will do if the worst comes to the worst. Let me try on the dress and we can see what we think of that. So this is the Moss Man dress, a really cute little mini pockets, padded shoulders as well. I do love this dress. I've only worn it once to my birthday dinner at Soho Farmhouse and I got a picture in it, but it was a sitting down picture so you couldn't really see the dress. So I don't think anyone's gonna think I'm an outfit repeater, but is this dressy enough for a black tie dinner? And also what shoes do I go with? I mean, I'm not too happy about wearing a mini because I don't love my legs, but do I go with my burgundy slingbacks from Mango or do I go with the Dior slingbacks? I love obviously the Dior's, but I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like the burgundy is more flattering on my leg shape. I'm not sure, let me know what you guys think, but I think I'm gonna take both outfit options with me, decide when I'm there, see how I feel. I mean, this dress is also very comfortable. Like I said, I'd rather not have my legs out and it's a bit too warm really to be wearing tights now in April. But yeah, I'm gonna see how I feel like once my hair is done, once I've done my makeup, I'll see what I feel more comfortable in. I feel like this is more dressy than the cream suit. I feel like that does look kind of like it's just been thrown together, but hopefully my Arquette skirt will arrive before I need to leave and I can quickly either try it on or I might just chuck it in my suitcase and try it when I get to the hotel. The pleated skirt arrived with 15 minutes to spare. So it's gone straight in the suitcase. I did try it on quickly and I love the way it looks. So let's get going. So I'm gonna leave in about 15, no less than that, about 10 minutes. So I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit to travel up in. Not the most comfortable. I did think about swapping out my shoes for trainers, but I just love the way these ballet flats look. So I'm keeping on this outfit. I think it'll be fine. It's really nice and sunny today, which is perfect. I always get so much happier when the sun is out. So I'm really, really excited for today. I've just got on my Zara black blazer, which I love. White t-shirt from Cos, the best t-shirts from the high street and then these jeans are my loose fit kind of baggy ones from Zara, Prada Ballet Flats. I'm actually just taking a tote bag with my suitcase today because I am going to take that House of CB dress back and it comes in like quite a big box so I thought I'd just pop that in the tote bag that I can sling over my shoulder. Hopefully that will make things a little bit easier for me. I am going to get a bottle of water at the train station because I am so freaking thirsty and that is my plan. We're going to meet Sophie at Bond Street and then we are going to head to Claridge's. So I have just arrived at my room in Claridge's and oh my goodness guys you are not going to believe this it is the most incredible hotel room I'm gonna give you a little bit of a room tour before it gets all messy. So as you walk in you have this little like hallway little cupboard and wardrobe in here, suitcase stand, umbrella, lovely hangers, and also a little mat up there as well. So you could do a little workout. Come around the corner here and we have the bathroom, a stunning marble bathroom, gorgeous imprinted towels, scales, bath mat. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And the mirror, wow, you look good, Amy. Not sure about that right now, I feel a bit like hot and sweaty, but what a beautiful touch that is. And then we have some stunning Colour Wow products. This is the mask that I showed you guys earlier that I used on my hair that I'm obsessed with. And one of these headbands, which you will have seen me use so many times before, absolutely adore these. We have double sinks. I mean, it's just stunning. In here is the shower and bath. Absolutely unbelievable. Look at that bath. It's basically like a swimming pool just obsessed with Bamford products as well, amazing. And then if we come through to the bedroom, we have just a little loo there, which is nice and private, which I love. What's in here? Oh, another little wardrobe, steamer, Dyson hairdryer as well, slippers. I forgot to show you as well, behind the door here, we have a gorgeous carriage's robe. Definitely be putting that on when we get ready for tonight. And then through here, what an amazing, huge bed. I, oh my God, I can't get over it, it's gorgeous. 
beautiful pajamas with a little color wow logo on from ha designs they are going to be so cute and comfy to sleep in we can have breakfast in bed in the morning amazing money changes everything satin pillow i want to take that home with me we've got water some little chocolates as well there this is our itinerary for today so we've checked in we've got our styling appointment i think it's at well, I thought it was at 4.30, but this says 4, so I need to double check that. Cocktails at 3.30, at 7.30. Dinner in the drawing room at 8.30, after hours. And then breakfast in bed from 7 till 10. Amazing. And then out here, we also have the most beautiful balcony with the most stunning view. Look at that. absolutely amazing honestly i cannot get over this room i'm obsessed with it it's unbelievable so so beautiful that time to get ready went so fast we had our hair done so i just went for like a really soft wave because i knew i wanted to tuck it behind my ears and show off these earrings which are from h&m but this is my outfit obviously i told you guys the skirt arrived in time so i've popped that on with my zara cream blazer so our little kitten heels as well this bag i don't know where it's from but it's just a really good like cream clutch so this is my look let me see a bit further back you can see nice and simple i don't feel too bad now actually to be honest about the way it turned out it could be a lot worse so this is it we're gonna have to rush down i think now we were gonna have some pictures done in the room but i don't even know if we're gonna have time it's always a mad rush isn't it you think you've got loads of time and then you panic at the end but we're pretty much ready Are you ready so hey. oh look at that outfit <laughs> Thank you. Gorge dress from House of CB. Yes. Where's your clutch from? Zara. Zara. My heels, even though you can't really see them, are mango. Perfect. We're ready. It is the morning after and we had a lovely evening last night. I obviously showed a few clips of the food and the venue and the dining room was just incredible. The flowers on the table and the candles were beautiful. Such an amazing room filled with amazing people. So inspiring to find out so much about the brand and event because sometimes you don't always get like the full backstory and get to meet the real people behind it but it was amazing uh so when i came up to bed i would say it about 11 we came up a bit later, about, quarter past. about quarter past 11 and we got ready for bed and we actually watched married at first sight because we both love it and we obviously have never watched it together but we talk about it all the time so we watched married at first sight and then we didn't end up going to sleep till like gone 1am maybe it was even nearly 2 I don't know but it was very very late and I've woken up feeling surprisingly fresh considering that it's now 
half eight nearly and we're gonna order our room service breakfast which i'm so excited for and have that in bed and yeah then we're gonna head off shortly but it's been amazing i'll edit this vlog when i get home so i'll hopefully have it up fairly soon for you guys but yeah i'll show you breakfast and stuff as well breakfast has arrived and it looks amazing we've got a little pastry basket orange juice this is mine <laughs> bacon or sausage <laughs> but then i also got scrambled egg as well that looks so good and then beans toast under here i love these little like pots as well i think they're so cute my mum always takes these yeah, from, so <laughs> from, fresh, from hotels. So cute. Oh, a little mustard. We just asked for some trays so we can actually eat it in a bed. But look at that setup. We're in our Colorwell PJs as well. These are from HA Designs. So cute. <laughs> now of Claridge's very sad to leave we had the best time sad. we have so much fun um, I'm just gonna end the vlog here once I get into this lift like what lifts have a nice little seat for us uh, grand floor yeah yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah I'm gonna end this vlog here I really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you did it would be amazing if you give this video a like and if you're new to my channel i would absolutely love it if you could subscribe and i'll see you all very soon in my next video bye